What's up, bosses? I'm Tarlene Rahman Figueroa, your brand consultant at Boss Diplomat, making you look so good you can't be ignored. And to help you not get ignored in your business, I have a really good one to share with you today. So let's look at today's question of the day. Okay, how do I launch my brand? This is a really interesting one because usually when I work with my clients, I'm helping them build their brand. Either they're rebranding their business because something's not working or they, they're going a different direction or they have lots of other new ideas that is not reflecting in their brand or they're a new business they're starting from scratch and they want to do it right good for you guys that's the way to do it but once you have a brand and everything is implemented and you know your story your target audience you know what your visuals look like and things are updated you know your website is updated your social media you know exactly what you need to do you know exactly what marketing to focus on and you know how to implement your brand what next this is where a brand launch could be quite good for you don't just work on your brand and then stay silent when it's done but the other warning is while you're working on your brand or your rebrand don't start talking about it okay on social media don't start telling your friends and and tell people oh check out the sneak preview or let me share my new brand with you when it's not ready you can't launch a brand when it is not ready because this is when you're at your most vulnerable people this is when you're at your most vulnerable because you've got nothing to show for your business brand right now but you've just given away a lot of your secrets to all of those prime competitors sadly this has happened to my clients in the past where they're so excited and bless you for that you are so excited to tell the world about how amazing your new business brand is and someone else just copied it and you've got nothing to show for it and it's really hard to protect yourself in that position so the one of the biggest reasons why it's a good idea to have an event or some sort of launch party is so that you've got a lot of evidence to say hey this is my brand my brand I worked on this and now I'm ready to tell the world what this new reveal is when you are rebranding or when you're starting from scratch it, it doesn't just mean um, you're changing your name or your logo or, or whatever it's your narrative it's I'm showing up in front of my business now I am the brand ambassador for this business or it could be I have a new product or a new service or a new podcast or you know I'm trying this new thing out and I want to share it with you all of this counts as your brand launch and you don't have to have one big launch you can have multiple little launches many 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 launches but there needs to be a very specific goal behind why you want to do a launch party to begin with are you doing this launch because you want brand awareness you want to create those followers you want to nurture those leads or do you want to make some sales do you want to get the first few clients in or you simply want to shake off those competitors and go, hey, I'm here, watch it, this is my territory. You could do all of that. Guess what? You're in control. You're in control of what the goal of your brand party is. But don't just decide, hey, my brand is about to be complete. I want to launch next week. Don't do that. Please don't launch without having a day in mind. When you are working on rebranding or working on any part of your brand, make sure you have a date. This is going to be your launch date and try to give yourself at least six months. And I know six months for solopreneurs like you seems like forever, but we need to work backwards, right? You have this massive goal, your launch date is your deadline to get everything done. And there's a massive list of things you need to get done. Do not just give yourself a week and go, I'm going to just crunch, 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 hustle, 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 and I'm going to work throughout the night to get this done. Why are you doing that to yourself? Why rush that process? Enjoy it. Don't break a sweat over it. You don't have to have this crazy ass deadline just because you decided that you're going to give yourself that deadline. Be reasonable with yourself. At least give yourself six months. Okay, if six months feels like an eternity, then half it. Give yourself at least three months. 
three months to get everything you need to get done. Now, don't forget the rebrand or the brand process typically does take a month. And then you have to think about all of the places that you have to then implement your brand. So we're talking about your website, your business card, any sort of print media marketing materials you have, your social media, your LinkedIn, your like products. If you're selling a product, maybe that needs to be changed. Your processes, telling your clients, your existing clients that there's some change about to happen your sales process maybe how you work in your business how you show up in your business oh there's a big list of things that you need to get done before that launch not just the rebrand itself so this is why i say try to give yourself extra time by not burning that midnight oil every single day because by the time that launch party comes you're going to be tired my friend and that's not even the end of it that is just the beginning of your business brand this is the beginning and you're tired. Go with the flow, go with the glow. Make sure that you are as ready as you possibly can be. So what does a brand launch party actually looks like? This is not a wedding guys. You don't have to invite like 300 people to this event. You don't even need to have a physical event. Maybe you can have a live stream where you're on camera to say, hey, my new website is ready with my new brand or have a countdown on your website so people can expect something you know give them something exciting to look forward to and don't make it a two-week endeavor give them like maybe like five day notice give them a five day notice and every single day you are giving them a little bit of an update on what to expect show up on brand launch day and these are all of the things that i will be doing on the day of the launch try to come up with some prizes maybe some freebies maybe some discounts some swag something for them to actually show up to your event whether it's on the digital space or whether it's in person the format is the same the strategy is the same how you're doing it is slightly different another note about events one of the best ways you can have a brand launch party is if you sponsored another business, sponsor another event. Sponsoring an event could work in your favor greatly because here's the thing, you don't need to do any of that work. You're just giving money. So if you have a date in mind, you've got say six months to save up for that event. There's always an event coming up. Look on Instagram, see what small local businesses are doing, support them, show up as a VIP, take that stage. There's a ready-made audience. You don't have to do any of the marketing and you are a very important person at the event because you've just paid for a lot of their expenses. Use that to your advantage. I would love to show you how I did my launch party for this very vlog and podcast, Be Your Brand. I decided to sponsor Boss Babe and Brunch. I met them a month before I decided that I'm going to go live with my YouTube. My YouTube channel wasn't supposed to go live until the end of 2023, but I sped that up because this opportunity came about and I decided the city girl in my heart was calling to another city. So rather than just being in my state, which I call the village, I decided to have my launch party in New York City, guys. And the last time I went to New York City was over a decade ago when I was training at the United Nations. So it had a lot of significance that I was now moving away from being a diplomatic consultant as a personal brand consultant. And now, boom, I'm on your screen boom, I'm now in your podcast, boom, I'm live on social media. There's a lot of things I'm doing for Boss Diplomat and I wanted to ring the bells and I wanted to make that into a celebration for myself. I wanted to celebrate my achievements. I wanted to celebrate the fact that I was going in a totally new direction, an open wide direction for Boss Diplomat and Boss Babe and Brunch was the best fit for that purpose. Here's a quick video on what actually happened behind the scenes. What's up, Solo Fernand? It's so amazing to be in New York. The last time I was in New York, it was 10 years ago, and I was actually training at the United Nations because I was on my way to becoming a diplomat. So now, I am the personal brand consultant of Boss Diplomat. I am very true to my backstory. And one of the reasons I'm here, thanks to Kailani, and thank you so much for welcoming me with open arms 
is because, guys, this is all about you. And I'm here to tell you that if you don't have a business, or if you do have a business, or you want to do something, you've had so many amazing stories from all of these amazing speakers on their story. Their story is what their brand is, and that's exactly what I do. If you don't know how to start your brand, or if you don't know how to infuse your story into your products or your services, boom, boss diplomat, that's exactly what I do. I make it look so awesome, you cannot be ignored. And the reason, and one of the reasons why I'm here today in New York is because today, with the Boss Basin Branch, I am launching my Be Your Brand YouTube series. This is for you. So I hope you guys can support me. Um, as you can hear from my accent, I'm not from here, so please welcome me into your country. Thank you so much. And um, I will, I would, um, I want to connect with as many of you as possible. If you don't know how to put your story, infuse your story into your products and service, let me tell you one thing. Without you, there is no business, okay? Your products do not speak for you. Your services do not speak for you. Your nonprofit and your mission does not speak for you. You do. You are the face of your business, and if you don't know how to become your own brand ambassador for your business, I can help you. <laughs> New York, New York. That event was awesome. It was fire. It was awesome 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 and the purpose of me having that launch party in new york city with that specific company i was in front of 200 boss babes it was awesome 200 female entrepreneurs who are my ideal clients i got so many leads from that and i'm still buzzing from that event even today so that's a quick wrap up on how to launch your business brand guys if you are still kind of unsure with where to start I have created an awesome brand launch handbook. You can get this straight on my website and here's a quick spiel on what you can expect. In this handbook, I help you figure out your brand strategy. I help you figure out what your marketing strategy should be for your launch event. I give you tips on copywriting and trademark. I give you tips on how to protect your brand before it's even seen, how to make use of your online presence, what format you can take for your actual launch party, how to organize your launch party, and a massive checklist of all the things you need to do before you go into your launch party for your new brand direction. Check it out guys, it's right on my website. I would love to hear your thoughts about what you did for your business brand launch. And if you didn't do anything for your launch, if you didn't even have a launch, it's not too late to start do something. If you have an anniversary coming up, that's a great way to celebrate. Have a launch party. It's never too late. You don't need to start something from scratch to have a launch party. There's always something new happening in your business, whether there's a new product, a new service, a new partnership. You're just changing the kind of people that you want to help or you're changing the pain point of the niche that your business is now focused on. There's endless possibilities. You can also grab a power hour with me if you want more help on how to put together your launch event. So I would love to see you in my calendar. Please like, subscribe and follow me. I am on Instagram. Here's my handle. DM me. I'm always available to you. Until next time. See you later, Sonopreneurs.